welcome to Baker Products. My name's Clay Hedrick and I'm going to be your video tour guide today. We get lots of questions about where we build our equipment and what makes us different from our competitors. So in this video we're going to try to show you that. So if you want to come with me, we'll get started on the tour. The first stop on our tour is going to be our office facility. In this building we house all our sales staff, accounting, safety, administration, uh, R&D is in this building as well for research and develop on new products. The whole design team is housed here and drafting all the parts, drawings, everything is done in this building. Well, let's come in and have a look. The second building on our stop is our machine shop. As you can see behind me, there's several CNC machines, including lathes and milling machines both. Over the years, we've kind of progressed from having some of our stuff done outside by other companies to bringing it all in-house. We do all our own machining now. This helps us control our quality. We can do the number of parts when we need them. If a customer needs something in a hurry, we've got control of that. So it helps us all the way around in quality control and the number of pieces that we need at any given time. Here's one of our parts right here coming together. It's had some of the first machine work done on it. But this will actually be part of the head that goes in a notching head. So it will be on a, one of our Bantam single notchers or one of our high speed doubles. We build a awful lot of resaws and this is one of the parts for the guides right here. It's one of the main guide block assemblies that the guides attach to. We machine these in-house as well. Here at Baker, we like flat guides, but we do machine and offer a roller guide system for our saws as well. Anything that we can make in-house, as I explained before, we're going to do. Uh, rollers with bearings pressed in. Machine rollers where they're knurled. Even sprocket assemblies, what we'll do here. We're standing in front of a CNC lathe right now. This is the turning center for our wheels. We turn mainly 28 inch and 36 inch wheels both. This is the blank the way it comes to the lathe right here. Every surface gets machined on these. The inside openings, of course, where the bearing mounts, both faces will get machined off, and then we put the final crown on so that the band blade stays tracked properly. building on our stop houses our laser machines, our CNC press brakes, our paint, and our refurb department. We have two laser machines that we use to cut out parts from flat plate steel. Extremely accurate. They leave a very nice finish. They're high speed. And basically we can cut anything from 16th inch up to a one inch plus on these. Anything that you can draw, you can have cut out. So our design team below, what they do is, they design the machine out, they do the drawings, they send them up to our laser department. The laser operator, what he'll do is find a way to fit all the same thickness pieces on the machine so that there's no waste or very little waste. And then it's cut out. The finish, as I mentioned, is extremely smooth, very little cleanup required. And then if the piece requires being bent, it's taken a CNC press brake to be bent up. They'll even add part numbers to these or put a left and right on them if needed. As I mentioned, in this building as well as our paint area, everything gets prepped, clean prior to going into the paint booth. Whether it's small parts like I have behind me for machines or full frame machines, they all get brought into this area 
cleaned up, prepped, and painted here. We've moved over to our fabrication shop. This is where all the parts come together. After they've been cut, machined, bent, they come together here and the guys start putting the frames together. Several machines are going together right now. I see a double notcher frame, an M7D duster, an M6D duster. Sawmills are also done in here, but everything from our smallest machine to our biggest scrag mill are done in this building. We also have a robot welder in here that does all our small parts. So the high volume stuff will all be done on it. We're in our warehouse facility right now. Of course, it takes a lot of parts to build all these machines, so we keep everything in stock that we'll need to build new machines, but also for you as a customer, we have everything that you might need for your machine. Also in our warehouse is our parts and service department. We have full-time guys here. All they do is take your phone calls to help you with any questions you might have about your new machine, our old machine as far as that goes. They'll also package up your parts here. We do FedEx and UPS both. We ship a couple of times a day. Uh, if you need something immediately, we can do it next day if required. Once everything has been painted, welded up, finished product basically, it's brought into assembly. Assembly finishes the process. So what happens, the warehouse puts everything together on carts that they might need for a particular machine, brings it in, and the assembly's done right on the spot so the guys don't waste time going back and forth to the warehouse. We have three basic areas of assembly. One of you already saw is the resaw department, and we have what we call special projects where we do notchers, chop saws, anything that's special ordered, we do a lot of special order stuff. Uh, right behind me sits a machine that was built to cut dry ice. We have a uh, three saw ambi trim in here, a chop saw, unscrambler right now, and a special sizer saw we built for another customer in the back, as well as a band edger. The third stop in the assembly building is where we assemble our sawmills. Anything that we do sawmill related is done here. Behind me is the 3650E electric stationary model. We we'll also do the portable models in here. There's oh, lines wow. of band blades from one inch to two inch. We bring in coil stock and long lengths. It gets cut to length, whatever the specification is. Weld it up. We also clean them up, inspect them, and then box them up and ready to ship. In our warehouse that we've already been through, we keep all the normal size, blades in there in stock ready to ship whenever you need them. We have a couple areas at our company for dry storage. So once a machine's done, we can keep it inside, keep it safe and dry until it ships. On the back side of this building is our loading dock. We have a lot of equipment that ships overseas in containers. In fact, there's a machine sitting in the back right now. It's going to Japan. We also do the refurb department here. So we get used machines in. We trade for our own machinery on a regular basis. We bring that equipment back in. It all gets checked out by our professionals, see what it needs, and then we'll go through it, and we'll have it ready, running, and certified to go before it's shipped out. The last stop on our tour is our pallet mill and our sawmill facility. What we do here is we bring in logs. They're separated by sizes. We have a full scrag mill to break down for our small logs and lower grade logs that we build the pallets from. And then also we have a sawmill located here that we do our tie logs, grade, and flooring at. Those are done. We have another facility about uh, 35 miles from here that we own with another band sawmill of ours, a Dominator mill, that cuts uh, material there, same thing. 
Uh, they're processing mainly ties, uh, grade lumber and flooring there. We also have a small scrag mill there that cuts up some of the lower grade on that location. In the area, we have another four to five sawmills contracted that cut for us, as well as several other contracted loggers that uh, log for us and bring us logs.
I hope you enjoyed our video to this point. I mentioned earlier, one question we get is, do you build your equipment in the United States? As you've seen, we've walked through our facility here in Ellington, Missouri. We do everything here in-house. We also sawmill, and this is one of the things that definitely makes us different and sets us apart from our competition. We have our own logging crews and logging crews that are contracted, as I mentioned before. We do everything in-house. We bring the logs in, we debark, we cut them, we build pallets, we cut grade lumber. We see how our machines are used every day and the abuse that they take. This goes into the design of our products every day. These guys at our mill always be able to give us feedback on the machinery in to help us build a better product. And that better product is passed on to you. I hope you enjoyed this. We welcome you to come visit us in person anytime. And thank you for your time.